Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Handling HTTP status codes efficiently is vital for developing robust web applications and APIs in Python. A convenient way to manage HTTP status codes is by using the HTTP module included in Python standard library, which provides constants for HTTP status codes. Additionally, Python web frameworks like Flask and Django have built-in ways of handling HTTP responses. Overview of HTTP status codes HTTP status codes indicate the result of a server's attempt to process a client's request. They are categorized into five classes. One informational, 100 to 199, request received, continuing process. Two success, 200 to 299, the request was successfully received, understood, and accepted. Three redirection, 300 to 399, further action needs to be taken to complete the request. For client error, 400 to 499, the request contains bad syntax or cannot be fulfilled. 5 server error, 500 to 599, the server failed to fulfill a valid request. Using the HTTP module. The HTTP module provides constants for these status codes, making your code more readable and maintainable. Here's how you can use it. Step-by-step -step tutorial. 1. Set up your environment, ensure you have Python installed. You can use a virtual environment if you're working on a project. 2. Create a simple HTTP client, we'll use the requests library to make HTTP requests. 3. Handle status codes. We'll implement a function that checks HTTP status codes and responds accordingly. Code example. Here's a simple example demonstrating how to handle HTTP status codes in a Python script using the requests library and the HTTP module. Explanation of the code. 1. Import libraries. We import requests for making HTTP requests and HTTP status from the HTTP module for easily referencing status codes. 2. Fetch underscore URL function. This function takes a URL, makes a GET request, and calls handle underscore response to manage the response. 3. Handle underscore response function. This function checks the status code of the response against predefined constants in HTTP status and prints a message based on the outcome. For main block, we test the function with a valid URL, a not found URL, a forbidden URL, and a server error URL. Benefits of this approach Readability Using constants from HTTP status makes the code self explanatory. Maintainability, if you need to change handling for a specific status code, you can do it in one place. Error handling, network issues can be caught using exception handling with requests. Conclusion Handling HTTP status codes efficiently in Python can significantly improve your application's error handling and user experience. By leveraging the HTTP module and frameworks like requests, you can create clean, maintainable code that properly manages different HTTP responses.